I'm Justin Jedlicka, I'm 32 years old, and I'm a living doll. Ask his daddy. I've had 125 procedures. And it's been $158,000 to make me really resemble a doll. And um, chest was first, then moved on to bicep implants, tricep implants, um, a brow bone shave. I had a brow lift. And um, I started having a couple other nose revisions. They all get a little fuzzy after a while. But uh, at the end, I've had five nose jobs now. So the doll really exemplifies sort of the ideal male aesthetic. When I was probably about 12 or 13, I used to always watch Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And I always had this idea in my brain, I, I wish that my family could have been this family that was wealthy and we could fly in private jets and uh, we could have our own boat. And that was always sort of a wish list. It was a dream in my, in my mind. And I ended up sort of emulating what I thought a lot of those wealthy people look like. You know, they all had plastic surgery. And I realized that I had a liking for some more exaggerated features and this ideal male physique, you know, a little bit more like a doll, like a, like a hero, you know, this like tiny waist and this large upper body. I live in Chicago at the Trump Tower, but I grew up in upstate New York with uh, three other siblings. I'm the oldest of four. I lived in a lower, income family and there wasn't a lot extra to go around. And the one thing that we could afford to do is for me to be able to buy paper and a pen and be able to sit down and sketch. Art gave me a way to sort of escape reality. A way to get away from all the chaos of my family life. Could, I could put myself in any sort of fantasy realm and sketch it out. Now, I'm developing uh, a customized muscle enhancement implant line at this moment. Playing around with the shapes to get an idea of the custom implants I want to have made for my next surgery. I didn't start wanting to look like a doll. Um, it's sort of taken shape over the years. I started my plastic surgery journey at 17 years old and I had made the decision to fix my nose. After my first nose job, my surgeries became more of a creative outlet, and um, I began to realize that I could actually build this ideal male physique. So like when you look at this implant piece, this is only two centimeters in, in height, and my implant piece is a, basically a four. Eventually, we'll have just an implants for everybody. So I was thinking it might be Good if I looked into like just enhancing my eyes a little bit, maybe doing a little bit of permanent eyeliner. What? My mom and me have been best friends ever since I was a little kid. And whether or not she agrees with my surgeries, she's always there. Justin, you're gonna end up looking weird. <laughs> Already you're, there. You're, <laughs> no, you're not. I would definitely like him to stop if it was my choice. But I understand that that's part of his personality. He's not going to stop. I just don't want you to look really odd then. I'm still deciding.